Hi and welcome to Peacemake TV. In today's tutorial for WordPress, we're going to be taking a look at adding some extra level of control to our sliders in Slider Revolution 5. We're going to make sure that certain elements on our slides are only available on certain types of devices. So this is a great way of controlling exactly what different people will see. So whether that's a computer or a laptop or whether it's a mobile device like a tablet or a mobile phone, we're going to control exactly what people see on these different devices. So let's take a look at how we can do all of that now. So I've got a slider that I created previously in front of me. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the different elements and we're going to take a look at how we can control how they're viewed. So when we've got any of these elements selected, so let's just say, for example, I'm going to use the, the mobile phone. Then what I can do is I can go to visibility. And in there, you can see that I've got four different options that allow me to specify what devices they're available on. We can also then specify things like under what width or only on slider hover. So we've got various different controls that we can use on this. So let's just say, for example, that we only wanted this to be available on desktops, laptops and tablets, but anything on a mobile phone, we didn't want that available. So we can just specify by unselecting that, turning it off, that that won't be available on a mobile phone re resolution. So for this example, let's turn everything off except for a desktop computer. So we'll turn off laptops and we'll turn off tablets as well as the phones. We'll now just save that. We'll switch over to the front end of the website and we'll take a look as we resize the screen how this will then appear and disappear. So we're on the front end of the website now and this is what we would see on a typical desktop resolution. So if I just minimize this, and we start to shrink this screen down so we can emulate the size of a mobile device. Then, as we move it over, as it jumps through to the different sizes, you can see it'll stay there until we get to a tablet or a phone size resolution. And then that particular element is taken off our screen completely. And if we scroll down to smaller and smaller and smaller, we get to sort of mobile phone size. You can see that element is no longer available. So let's just maximize that and what we'll do is we'll just jump back into slider revolution and we'll specify that this will be available on mobile phones and uh, desktop computers so as we drop down to the even smaller size we'll find that that will actually then start to show back up so we can use this kind of conditional logic to very quickly and easily show and hide various different elements on our sliders depending upon the screen size and resolution so let's do the same again let's just refresh that page once that's refreshed you can see we've now got that evident, all works the way we expect it to. So if we now shrink this down, we'll go through top to laptop size, we'll go down to tablet size, it then disappears. And then as we go to mobile phone size, it comes back again. So quite quick and easy, you know, it's the kind of thing that you can use and control exactly how you want your slides to interact with various different devices. So let's switch those back on now for all the different devices. So that will show up on every kind of device. But what we're going to do is we're going to activate on only on slider hover. So what this is going to do is this will not be visible on any kind of screen resolution until you take your mouse pointer or your finger, depending on what device you're using, over the actual slider, at which point that particular option or that particular element will become visible. So let's just save this. We'll jump back over to the website and we'll take a look at this in action. So we'll come back over, we'll refresh the page. So we make sure we've got the latest version loaded in. And as you can see, nothing is actually showing up on there. The mobile phone is now not being displayed no matter what size our screen is actually set to. Until we take our mouse pointer over, at which point you can see it fades in. Once we take it off the slider, it fades out. And this works on whatever screen resolution we're working on. So if we were on a tablet, for example, you can see it now appears. And the same if we go down to sort of mobile phone size. Once we take our mouse pointer or finger to activate over the slider, that then will show up in our slider. So finally, we've got the hide under width option. And what we need to do is actually set up a few more parameters before we can use that one and actually have any benefit from using it on you. So what we need to do is just quickly jump back into the settings for our sliders. So we can jump back into that. We'll say, yep, yeah, we'll leave the page. That's fine. We'll jump back over to this now. And what we need to do is go over to layout and visual. And we've got a couple of options available to us there. So if we switch over to mobile, 
One of the options we have available there is to hide elements under a certain width. So we can hide the slider, the predefined layers, or all layers. What we'll do is we'll put a value in predefined layers, and then we can define those layers individually using the settings we've just taken a look at. So let's just save that out. We jump back to our slide editor and start editing the actual slide itself. So now when we come down and choose visibility, we can select the phone again, and we can say hide under width, make sure that's selected, hit the save, and then when we go below that 320 pixels, that layer will then hide. Once we go above it, it'll show up. So we get control over exactly what size we want any element to hide or show on. So this is great if you've got quite a complicated slider and it looks great on a desktop or a tablet, but once you go below a certain size, everything starts to look a little cluttered or it becomes so small you can't really see what's going on. Now this is a great way of defining exactly what elements you do and don't want to show on different devices and different device sizes. So let's refresh this page. And we'll just then resize this. And as you can see, as we go down, everything's fine until we hit that 320 pixel value. And then it disappears. So we then get to control exactly what size we want that element to be shown on and where we want it to be hidden. So I want to take that back up. We go over 320 pixels. You can see we're now back up to showing all of the elements. So this is a great way of controlling exactly what is seen on what types of devices. And as you can see, it's a very simple and quite an intuitive way of working. You can go down the simple route of just choosing what devices you do and don't want any element to be displayed on. And you can even go down the route of specifying exactly what width that specific element will be displayed and when it'll be hidden. Well, I hope you found this tutorial useful. I hope it's given you an insight into how you can get even more creative and how you can use logic based upon the device that's being used to control your different elements in your sliders. If you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing to the channel to be kept up to date with all the new content that's added every single Wednesday. If you've got any comments, questions, or feedback on this video or anything else on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. We read everything you post and we try to answer every question you ask. Well, until next time, take care.